All right, well, thank you. And also this noontime, the search for clues in Warwick. Police trying to find a driver who struck a man crossing Post Road last night and then took off from the scene. I want to see reporter Kate Walsh is working the latest live in Warwick for us. Well, time is of the essence. Warwick police are asking for anyone with information to contact them. This crash occurred right behind us last night where we are live on Post Road. Sneakers, articles of clothing, debris from a car, all that Warwick police have to work with as they search for the person responsible for hitting a man crossing the street and then taking off. Just one witness has come forward so far. And based upon the witness's account, we believe that's heavy or substantial front end damage to the vehicle. Warwick police say the pedestrian was crossing busy post road by the Walmart when a dark colored car, a Honda or Acura, struck him as it traveled south around 8.55 Wednesday night. The man was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital in serious condition. Warwick Police Major Rick Rathbun said this isn't the first pedestrian accident in the city recently. One of the messages we try to get out to the public is be aware of pedestrians, whether it's day or night. Um, a lot of our pedestrian accidents have occurred during evening or dark, dark hours of darkness. Um, as a result, um, it's a message we keep continuing trying to send home. Last year, Warwick Police even boosted patrols at crosswalks to educate drivers on stopping for pedestrians after three people died crossing the roads. Anyone with information about this incident is asked to call the Warwick Police Traffic Division. And you can find that phone number on our website at WPRI.com. In just the past few minutes, we noticed this police cruiser show up in the area of where that accident occurred last night. We do have a phone call out to Warwick Police. We're hoping to get an update, and as soon as we have that information, we will have that for you. Live in Warwick at noon, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.